What's up guys? So the question of the day, uh, which uh, I found from another video was, would you rather be ugly but smart? Or, obviously you probably know what's coming, uh, stupid or dumb and very good looking. Now this is a very interesting question and uh, you're gonna get a very uh, awesome answer from me uh, so don't don't click away yet don't click away um, but here's a general idea behind it um, here's the thing at first I thought it was a very very uh, easy question and looking at it um, I think what I would say is I definitely rather be unattractive and smart now the question is very vague in itself so it really depends on um, how you actually word the question um, and I need the exact details so exactly how ugly do you have to be uh, and exactly how smart do you get to be because of your ugliness and the same thing for the smarts uh, are you like model type or are you just slightly above average and are you like uh, super super dumb or just slightly below average in, in sort of in dumbness so I'm going to answer this question in two ways one with it being extreme and one with it being slightly and so for the extreme question basically that means uh, <clears throat> you have to choose one or the other and you you have to have the extreme of one of these two so you have to be super super ugly and super super uh, smart or super dumb and super good looking now this question is obviously the harder one because you can't really compromise with these things and I know after 20 years of life that um, most people aren't as ugly as they seem and most people are not as dumb as they think they are and that is why it's harder when you have this sort of extremes like you can't really you can't really you know weasel your way out of one of them which I'll explain once I get to the second question but you with this question um, <clears throat> you can't really compromise so I think I don't know I think maybe looking at a survival standpoint I might be more inclined to the good-looking one um, because when we're looking at extremes here like uh we're looking at y your face is going to be like severely like distorted and stuff and actually actually let me think about that no i changed my mind for sure for sure because the the loss is definitely worth the gain i forgot about the smarts part um so the the name of the game here is that you will have a exceptionally uh, a horrendously ugly face maybe it will be like distorted like like this and then there'll be like parts mutating out and stuff like that but because of this this extreme you get the benefit of the other extreme which is um, you are super super smart and that in today's society wins out okay and this goes back into my whole all my talks about how uh, the human evolution is not keeping up with technological and society evolution uh, we we have so far surpassed our the, the rate at which humans can physically evolve and adapt because we are still stuck in a state where uh, we have these inclinations due to our natural selection to sort of prefer like good looks and stuff or stuff like that whereas in today's society I'm pretty sure that amount of smarts that genius will get you a lot farther and I'm not saying like uh, good looks has no use in society but yeah for sure I would choose horrendously ugly and super 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 smart I mean c could you believe that like um, assuming I keep my memories and stuff um, that's that's probably what I need because I probably wouldn't have this like if I could keep my memories and stuff I would have the self-esteem and so forth to live my life with that sort of ugliness and quite frankly uh, I think it'd be very very hard for 
someone who just starting out brand new to deal with that even if they were like a ridiculous prodigy but <clears throat> for me um, if there's any people like that out there who are like horrendously ugly and like a, a super genius uh, you guys are s awesome okay uh, smarts will get you a lot longer way in uh, today's society rather than looks and it's just down to the fact that even the looks in the modeling industry the competition is stiff because uh, looks come a dime a dozen uh, like it or not I mean it might not seem that way if you're living in a rural area but if you go to the uh, uh, the, the area the areas with like cities like uh, Los Angeles they come a dime a dozen whereas exceptional intelligence is still very very rare and so valuable uh, in today's society which has advanced so much in terms of technology with that sort of intellect you could revolutionize the way we live you could be the next Steve Jobs or you could invent something greater than that or in a completely different direction maybe you're not smart in terms of uh, electronics maybe you want to go into some sort of uh, chemical engineering and whatever the case wherever that that brain takes you whatever interests you maybe you're a ridiculous mathematician regardless you are guaranteed a high place in society a very well-paying job you might end up being one of the richest people in the entire history of the world with that amount of smarts if not I'm sure you will still make a huge mark on society maybe win a Nobel Prize go out of your way and because of the brains you have you might be able to understand the the great truths of life and come to terms with your ugliness and sort of just live life to the fullest embracing what you have realizing that you know what I'm ugly but who cares I've, I've changed society so much and it's not about just making money sure you're probably going to end up rich but um, and it's not about like leaving an imprint for the human species or the, the race as a whole like maybe Steve Jobs or Bill Gates will do but it's it's simply just that you know you by being so smart and choosing to live that lifestyle you will come into contact with so many things in life that you will just be so happy about just like I see so many smart people who who are just enthralled and passionate about the complexities and intricacies of nature and the laws of nature and just how amazing they are and you really don't really you can't sometimes come into those sort of contact zones without being able to understand what's going on and on top of that you're able to meet so many different influential people and you will just be so thankful for all the things you develop in a lifestyle like that I mean uh, with that intelligent in, like ridiculous level of intelligence you will probably probably be able to travel and visit like the best and uh, most amazing places on earth whether it's because they are the most technologically advanced and you need them for your career or whether because uh, you are just sightseeing and you're in the area because you're you are so uh, high up that you have uh, casual interactions or public relations or political relations with uh, higher up people in terms of politics or something and then you get to see some sort of uh, world wonders or like the like the Great Wall of China or other amazing stuff like that and um, if there's anyone watching who's ever like that which I doubt but if there is I would highly suggest you stay away from politics and all that that sort of drama um, but you don't have to be in that sort of stuff to see like world wonders and stuff I mean with with the money you've obtained and the connections I'm sure you can enjoy the beauty of the world that most other people will never be able to experience and so that is what I would choose if you're very very good looking and uh, dumb as a rock then I don't even know if you're conscious enough to really understand what's going on to even appreciate anything maybe you, you just sit there like duh uh, uh. and I'm not trashing all these guys I mean um, I'm just I'm just saying like that would kind of suck and 
for me, it's like, like you, you guys could say I'm smart, but um, I, I think I'm more like a, I, I've earned my smart, smarts through hard work. Not that I was like born with natural s intellect that's greater than the average Joe. And so I feel like in a lot of ways, I am still sort of dumb. And you will see this the most when I'm just starting to learn something new. And I'm kind of like a very slow learner and kind of like, duh. So I, I can relate. And that's why I don't think it's the best course of action. And especially when we're talking extremes here, you have to be exceptionally, exceptionally dumb to be exceptionally, exceptionally uh, good looking. But from what I've heard, in terms of good looks, it will probably be more of a hindrance than a help. I mean, if you go around looking like some sort of Greek greek sculpture with your face and stuff um regardless of how smart or dumb you are uh, you're going to attract a whole ton of unwanted attention you're going to be harassed all day uh, maybe you'll get a modeling job but the from what i've heard the modeling industry is not as happy-go-lucky as it seems it's very cutthroat very mean people are vicious they'll backstab you they'll betray you trick you all these tricks and sort of like you know hidden intentions and fakery and uh, sort of uh, fights and stuff like that and that's not always the case of course there's always exceptions but sure you might end up living a decent life as a model but even the best male models let's say you're female let's say you're the the highest paying female model um, I just think in terms of impact and uh, just just overall life experience and just fulfillment I do I, I do believe that that smarts will get you uh, a longer way I mean uh, if I were to choose between like um, Adriana Lima uh, don't get me wrong she she has done a lot in this world to to uh, help it but Adriana Lima versus someone like Albert Einstein um, that's probably not the best example I probably wouldn't want to be Albert Einstein uh, I, I would not be want to be involved in atomic bombs whatsoever but you get the idea um, I would choose Albert Einstein or whoever now to the second part of the question which was um, let's say you don't have the extremes you can choose between being slightly ugly and slightly above average in smarts or slightly above average in terms of attractiveness but slightly below average in terms of uh, smarts now this is one that's a toss-up I mean this will vary from a day-to-day -day basis for me I don't think I have like a definite answer sometimes it'll be 50 50 maybe something maybe sometimes it'll be 60 40 I don't think it really matters it's such a toss-up between the two um, when you it's just slightly in one direction or the other and I find like most of society most people are slightly in one direction or another and a lot of times they they beat themselves up over this and they just go crazy and they think oh I'm so dumb oh my gosh I'm so ugly and they're not really that ugly and quite honestly they're, they're sometimes just lazy and if they just dress themselves up splash some water on their face and uh, did their hair uh, they, they look pretty uh, decent and so <clears throat> slightly ugly and slightly slightly above average in terms of smarts versus slightly attractive and slightly dumb well it really depends on how slight if it's just slightly I would go with the attractive ones like it have to be so marginally small in terms of the slight amount because I'd be willing to give a little bit of smarts to look above the average. I mean, it, it's 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 good for me, good for uh, my self-esteem, and will probably put me a little bit above the competition. Um, and a lot, and this goes back to how, uh, with hard work, you can achieve a lot of knowledge in this world. And sure, you might not be a smartest person in the world, but who cares? I mean. A lot of the smartest people in the world are not the most rich, most successful, or most happy. And so, um, yeah, I'd, I'd be willing to give a little bit of intellect because I know I could, uh, through hard work, I would be able to achieve that back one day. And then, <clears throat> on, some, on the other flip side of the coin, I mean, 
it also wouldn't be too bad to be slightly ugly and slightly smarter because again uh, the whole reason behind being smart is explained and despite it just being s a slight amount I, I think it's still it's still uh, a worthy risk so it's again it's a toss-up and if I had to choose it would be dependent on the amount of slightness so if it was just so marginally small I would go with the attractive one if it was more than just marginally small like this much then I would go with the uh, ugly one and I think for the ugly one it's it's uh, definitely something that's um, um, you you could be put behind but I feel like a lot of people are they beat themselves up for being super super ugly and they're not that ugly and I feel like uh, again it might have to be with me rem retaining my memories so I can understand this but yeah it might be hard for someone with a blank slate like no memories whatsoever and just starting from scratch from the moment they were born um, to really get to know that and accept that you know you're not as ugly as you think you are and uh, yeah if you just you know dressed up a little bit that'd be completely fine and then you'd be at least average and you'd be a leg up in terms of smarts and so my voice is hoarse it's been 17 minutes thank you guys if you watch this whole thing as always leave a comment with your feedback if you want otherwise just like and subscribe for more thanks guys for watching and hopefully one day we can hit 400 subscribers it has been roughly 360 for about a like, few months now and it's been flat and quite recently I gained it's always been like a, I always gain a few and then I lose a few at the same time so that's why it stayed flat but recently it's it's gone up slightly to like about like 375 which I'm happy about um, so let's let's see if we can make it to 400 so share this on Facebook Twitter Reddit whatever you want see you guys later thanks for watching peace